Have you ever looked at an MLS listing or have you ever been told that the status of a property is sold conditionally, suspended, DFT, PC, or pending? What does all of that mean and how does it impact you? If you are frustrated in trying to understand what MLS status abbreviations mean, then you are in the right place. Whether you are a first time home buyer, a seasoned real estate investor, or a home seller, knowing what the status of a listing abbreviation means and how it impacts you is very useful in navigating the buying and selling process. In today's video, I will be unpacking all those MLS abbreviations so that you can become a more informed home buyer or home seller because it will help you identify your options so that you can make good decisions. Hi, my name is Evelyn Lopez with the Evelyn Lopez Realty Team and iPro Realty. I serve the Toronto Northwest communities of Caledon and surrounding area. I provide information, but more importantly, I provide interpretation of that information so that you can make best and informed decisions for yourself and your family so that you can ultimately live the life of your dreams in the home of your dreams. for you. Have you ever looked at an MLS listing and wondered what do all those letter abbreviations mean for the status of a listing? Have you ever been told by a realtor that a property is sold conditionally or it's DFT or suspended and you're wondering well what does all those letters mean and what are all the various statuses and how does the listing status affect me the home buyer or home seller? Let's dive right on in and unpack the code to the MLS listing status. It's important to note that every real estate board is slightly different. In today's video, we will be looking specifically at the Toronto Regional Real Estate Board, whose short form is TRRBB. The Toronto Regional Real Estate Board is a very large board and it encompasses areas in and around Toronto, to the east, to the west, West, north, it doesn't go south because we have Lake Ontario to the south, but it is a very expansive region. There are 14 real estate status abbreviations currently on the Toronto Regional Real Estate Board. Plus, I'm going to share with you one more bonus status that you will also often hear about. Now let's start from the beginning. I will group these statuses to try and make it a little bit easier for you to understand. Now let's look at a copy of an MLS listing sheet. The data included on this information sheet is very detailed. It includes the property address, price, and today we will be specifically looking at the portion known as last status, NEW. The status NEW means that the listing is a new list and that there has not been any fundamental changes to the listing data or status. PC means that the listing has had a price change. This price change can be either a price increase or a price decrease. SC stands for sold conditionally. The conditions could be varied. Common conditions are conditionally sold on financing, home inspection, a status certificate, lawyer review, or a water test. During this conditional period, the property is usually taken off the market in terms of showings, while the parties to the transaction complete their due diligence in terms of their condition fulfillment. An example of this may mean that the buyer is confirming that their financing for the property is in place. They will have a period of time in which to fulfill their condition. If they get their financing, the property will be sold firm. If if they do not get their financing, as in this example, the property will go DFT. DFT means the deal bell route, and the property is then put back on the market. SCE 
means sold conditionally with an escape clause. This means that the property has sold. However, the seller is still permitting showings. And if another buyer comes and views the property, they can submit an offer, giving the seller a period of time, let's say 48 hours, to inform the first buyer that they have received an acceptable offer. The first buyer now has first right of refusal. They have 48 hours from the time of receipt of notification to either firm up on their conditions, remove them and buy the property firm, or back away and release the property so that a seller can now sell it to the second buyer. It's a little bit more complicated. Sold. It's an easy one. It means the property has been purchased firm with no conditions and it is no longer available to other buyers. SES means the property is suspended for a period of time. The listing is active on the MLS. However, there are no further showings for a period of time. It's usually a short period of time. An example may be that the seller is sick. TER means the property listing has been terminated and it is no longer available for sale. Perhaps the seller no longer wishes to sell their home. Pending. Pending is not used as a field on the Toronto Regional Real Estate Board. However, many neighboring MLS boards do use this term. So as a bonus, we will uncover what pending means. Pending means that the property has sold for. So let's say it sold on June the 1st, but it's not closing, meaning the buyers are not providing funds until, let's say, August the 1st. In this case, the property is pending, closing date of August the 1st. So it is no longer available for sale. EXP means that the listing expired. The listing period was, say, valid for 90 days, and after that 90 day period of time it did not sell so the contract has now expired ext stands for extended in this case the original listing period has been extended for a further period of time and is continually an active listing that is available for sale listings on MLS are for both homes for sale and homes for lease. The next few abbreviations cover specifically terms used for leased properties. LC means leased conditionally. An example scenario may be that the landlord has leased the property to a tenant. However, it is conditional on a period of time in which one party is completing their due diligence regarding the condition. A common condition for leases is for the landlord to verify the employment of a tenant. In this case, maybe the lease was accepted on a Friday night uh, conditionally until the landlord calls the tenant's employer on a Monday to ensure that they are actually employed at that business. For this conditional period of time, the lease is no longer available. At the end of the condition period, the property will be either leased or it will not be leased and it will go back on the market. LC means the property is leased with an escape clause, meaning that one party, usually the landlord, uh, is fulfilling a condition, say verification of the tenant's employment. They have, in this particular case, a few days to do so. And in this sample, let's say until Monday, uh, from selling the property over the weekend. However, the landlord may choose to continue to show the property to other potential tenants and accept an offer to lease. If they receive another offer that is suitable and strong, the landlord may have the right to terminate the first offer and accept a new one. So that is leased with a conditional escape clause. LSD means leased. The property has been leased to someone and is no longer available for rent. There are no conditions. It is firm and leased. There we have it, 15 MLS status abbreviations for property listings what the short forms mean, and how they impact both buyers, sellers, landlords, and tenants. I'm curious, what new status definition did you learn about today? Put it in the comments below.
below. If you found this information helpful, please like and comment. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel below and hit that bell so you can be notified of new and upcoming content. And don't forget to check out my video, episode number 40, 11 tips of what to do when viewing and before buying your next home. The link is below. Thank you so much for the privilege of your time and we'll see you at the next video. Bye for now.